Get your boots on. Go outside. Wake up. Do it, do it, do it. Get up. Wrap up, do it. Gotta take your old gas. Get your gas. Live it every day like a bee your last. Cause the sky.
May I speak to Wyatt Smith, please? Speaking. Oh, hey, Wyatt. This is uh, Daniel Mochizuki. I got your name from uh, Cameron Santiago. Okay. You know Cameron? Yeah, I do. Well, anyway, Wyatt, uh, I'm a landscaper, too, and I'm in need of another work hand. Cameron applied for it. Are you saying that he listed me as a reference? Could you tell me just a little bit about it? Well, honestly, I am no longer inclined to work with Cameron. Which means what exactly? It means that I had to let him go. And why was that? I got tired of having to hold his hand. I'm actually a little surprised because I had to snap at him a few times. I guess he didn't have much else to put on his resume. Don't get me wrong. He's a good kid. He's not going to rip you off or anything. He's just super green. You know what I'd say? Try him out. Maybe he's learned some stuff. The fact that he didn't work out with me doesn't mean that he'll be bad for you. You know what I mean? Who knows? You might like him. Yeah, well, I'm glad you could share just a little bit of your thoughts. On another subject, how are you doing on your business uh, overall? I mean, what I mean is, uh, did you go for that stimulus program? What? You mean the PPP? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about applying for it, and I was wondering if you did. Yeah, I did, actually. Did you get your money? Not yet, but I did apply. I mean, if you're thinking, you better get going. Don't think Uncle Sam means to help out every business. Eventually, the well will run dry. Yeah, but I hear you apply for a loan, but only for certain expenses. Yeah, like employee wages for Cameron, you know. If you pick them up. Yeah, so employee wages, they're saying that, that this could be forgiven. That's what they say. But then again, this is the government, right? You know what they say about that. Yeah, I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. <laughs> yep. Look, I'd uh, love to talk shop with you, buddy, but I gotta get moving. Oh, no, yeah, I appreciate your time. Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, I'll see you around. Hey, you! You, neighbor! Stop playing that monkey music! You heard me! You're always playing that whatever the hell contraption you got there in your hand. What the hell is that thing? Oh, uh, you mean the, uh, the smithar? Thank you. 
a snitar. <laughs> More like a shitar because it sounds like shit to my ears. Well, I kindly ask you to mind your own business. I'm keeping it down. I'm on my own property, so... Hey, whatever, man. Hey, you're a landscaper, right? Yes, sir. If you had an ugly-ass limb growing over into my yard, that it's within my rights that I can cut that ugly sucker off, right? As long as it doesn't adversely affect the health of the tree. But I don't have any trees growing onto your side. Well, I got news for you. I want you to stop playing that music or whatever the hell you call it because it comes over my fence, over into my property, into my ears. And I need you to stop playing that crap. You know, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Maybe you should build a bigger wall. Soundproof it. So I don't have to listen to your whiny ass. Whatever. Whatever. I'm, oh, I'm gonna so get you, Wyatt. I'm gonna so get you. Just wait and see, man. Just wait. Shut up. Do man. What's up? What's up? How goes it? You near quitting time yet? I'm actually at home. I decided to call it a day early. Well, come over. Got some drinks? Get some tacos, some pizzas, some tatas. Let me get back to you, okay? This is no signing off for you. Either take it or leave it. What's wrong? Well, uh, me and the old girlfriend, we didn't have the greatest of lunches the other day. What, the food was that bad? What? Yeah, she wants me to be more attentive. Oh, the girl wants her man to be more attentive in the relationship. Never heard of that. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for her to call me back. Well, wait over here. Might as well enjoy your last meal before the execution. Thanks. Nah, I'm good. Ah, you guys are a cute couple. You think? You know, she's the brain and you're the... I, I don't know, just don't mess it up. Ah, lighten up. She'll call you. Yeah, well, no, it's just, you know, it's like a lot of stuff at once. Yeah, I hear you. Plus, I just got through hashing it out with the Gestapo next door. Oh, the Gestapo again. What's his face? Your neighbor, Arthur. Yeah, her playing. Oh, you're playing your music again. What's his deal? He'll complain about anything, rain or shine. Yeah, you know, you're right. He'll complain no matter what the sky brings. Speaking of that, could you? Yeah, I got somebody at the door. Hang on though, uh, I'll be right back, okay? Just hang on. Screw him. Hey, Alice, what can I do for you? Hi, Ryan. I couldn't help but hear what Arthur said to you. And I'm sorry. Hey, don't worry about it. I've kind of gotten used to it, actually. I hope you understand that it's just the way he is. And he was never like that before. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. Hey, listen, I baked some cookies earlier today, and I thought you might like some. Oh, my God, bless you. That's so sweet. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. I just felt bad. You know, Arthur gets particularly irritated when he's about to finish a new project. Yeah? What's he working on now? Some sort of... Anti-bad vibe shield? No, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't worry. You and I are on the same page. Hey, Alice, I don't mean to seem coarse, but uh, I mean, we've been neighbors for quite a while. What exactly is it that you see in that guy? Just trust that it's complicated. Gotcha. Anyway, you take care. And enjoy those cookies. I sure will. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, have a good day. Thanks. Hey, guess who that was? Who? Taylor Swifty. You wish. That was Alice Plank. Oh, what, the wife of the Gestapo? Yeah, 
Arthur's wife. What does she want? She came over with a peace offering. Peace offering? Yeah, plate of cookies. Oh, I want some cookies. She felt bad, I guess, because her old man went batshit crazy on me again. Huh. I don't tell you, these things are addictive. You know, I don't know how those two are together. It's like one of Earth's greatest mysteries, like the pyramids or something. Well, opposites attract. And by the way, Egyptians had help from the aliens. I don't know. I guess they do share a common trait, though. I mean, he's batshit crazy, and she's like, I love that. Well, she told me that her old man works for the uh, MIB division, or used to. I don't know. MIB division? Like, the MIB division? We're, we're talking like Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones? Asked her why a hair plank always wore a black suit. She told me that straight to my face. Your chain, man. I'm just telling you what she told me. She said they met when they were working at NASA. He was an astrophysicist and she did some other kind of research. Oh yeah, research on the side. Is it remotely possible that she's telling the truth? I don't know. I got better things to do than validate that myth. I feel like a chicken running around with my head cut off these days. Guys falling one cloud at a time. But we can't be to get work money. <laughs> hey. Are you on the patio? How long you been there? Ah, since like three drinks ago. Why? Bro, did you notice something funny about the sky earlier? Can't say I have. What am I looking for? I don't know. I can't quite describe it. But it was different. How different? Different, like, it wasn't really clear. Like, it had a different tint to it. I don't know. Oh shit. Hey, do. Uh, I just got a text from Racine. Yeah, I gotta go. Well, you go take care of that, but if you come over later on tonight, we can watch The Thing on TV. The Thing? Are you talking the Kurt Russell original or the sequel? No, no, there was no sequel. That movie was actually a prequel. It takes place before everything that happens in the Kurt Russell version. So, which one are we watching? Neither. We're watching the original classic. The thing from another world, from 1955. It's black and white. It's the one that started it all. Never heard of it. But figures, hmm. but it's good. Okay, gotta go. Okay, bye. Hey. Sorry, I missed your call earlier. I was in a meeting. What are you doing? I'm at home. I decided to cut the day short. I don't know, I was feeling a bit fried. Thought I'd come home and rest. Oh, well, maybe I should let you go. No, I wanted to talk to you. I was just talking to Du. He helped me put some stuff in perspective. Hey, look, Wyatt. I got you thinking... Maybe I was a little mean the other day. No, Race, I'm sorry. I was a dick at your reading. I, I promise I'll be into it next time. Deal? <laughs> and I'm an idiot too because I got you a whammo frisbee for your birthday even though you told me that you don't like frisbee. Because I get scared when it flies at me. And I respect that. But I do like to throw it. I just don't like it when you throw it at me. Fair. How's do? Fine. I got a call from this guy, Daniel, asking about Cameron. What, is he in jail or something? <laughs> nah, it's about a job. You mean that Cameron gave you as a reference? That's what I thought. <laughs> and what'd you say? Well, I told him the truth. What else could I say? But I ended up saying that he's a good worker, mostly. You're a nice guy, Wyatt. That's what I've been telling you. 
Yeah, you have. Well, listen, do you want to come meet me? You're not working late tonight? I had to get outside, let off a little steam. Good plan. Let me uh, just put some stuff away and I'll uh, change out of my work clothes and, and I'll meet you in like one hour. Okay, I'm at the garden. Our usual spot. Okay. 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 Okay, bye. Well, hello, Wyatt. It's me, the whiny-ass neighbor. Well, I'm here to explain a few things to you. <clears throat> I'll cut to the chase, man. You're a rat! A lab rat. I put you in your own existence. And how did I do that? I needed the money to do this. There's always the money thing. It took a worldwide pandemic to get us to where we are today, right here. Something I wanted to do forever. I even proposed it to NASA. Yeah. They wouldn't listen to me. Said I was crazy. Said it would never work. But I got the last laugh. And you should be proud to be part of it, Wyatt. You should be proud. So where are you in all this? I'll tell you, and I'll read it to you because I don't want to mess this up. You, Wyatt, are right here. It's section 272, part L, page 847, number 243, letter K, subsection 66, Roman numeral 52, bullet point, 16, miscellaneous, hybrid, expenses. You're a line item. 
a line item very deep, deep inside the government's COVID stimulus program. <laughs> What's the biggest possible thing? Infinity, right? What happens if you add one? It should still be infinity, right? What happens if you subtract infinity from both sides of the equation? Then you get one equals zero. How about infinity plus infinity? That should equal infinity, right? What if you subtract infinity from both sides of that equation. Then infinity equals zero. The hell? The reason I bring it up, the concept of infinity. Well, it seems I have been stranded in some type of parallel dimension. And that's the optimist talking. The alternative is that everybody else on the planet got raptured and now I'm stuck here having to wing it all by my lonesome till I don't know. I'm not too big into theology. <sighs> there must be an infinite number of alternate realities existing side by side. Somehow, I woke up here. There's not much I can do about it except live my life and wonder if it's somehow my own damn fault. don't get it, Wyatt. When you make a commitment to be with someone, to be in a relationship, you do things for the other person, you know? That poetry reading was something I put together for the book club. It was my turn to host a special event, and rather than just share the review of another book, I chose to invite Redding. Since he was giving a lecture at the university, he's a renowned poet. So it mattered. It mattered to me. You know, everyone there said it was the best event of the year. I mean, it went great. It would have been perfect if he had really been there. I'm sorry. You always say you're sorry.
idiot. The way I see it, and I've been wrong before, is that my numbnuts neighbor created some sort of interdimensional portal using questionably allocated government funding through the COVID relief program and used it to imprison me in this Pacific Island purgatory. How he was able to do this, I have no idea. But whenever that happens, it's good to trust your gut and go with the obvious explanation. Aliens. Well, suck it up, Smith. Grass ain't cut itself. You know who's absolutely junk at raking leaves and pretty much yard work in general? Cameron. Alright, what is it? If we pick up this tiller that I saw at Home Depot, I could get everything dug up in an hour. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Say the word and I'm off. You can call it into your account while I'm driving over. An hour, you say? You could dig up this back section in an hour? Absolutely. All right, start the clock. Go. One hour. Go. Come on, time is ticking. Come on, man. We doing this or not? Negative. What? Why not? Give me one good reason. Wh whose truck are you going to use to go down and pick up this POS tiller? My mans, you don't even have a valid driver's license. So we both go down there and overpay for this underpowered piece of crap thing. We already got plenty of power standing right here. I'm looking at him. Manpower. Now, I do appreciate the forward thinking, but... Uh... Come on, man. You know it makes economical sense. Alright, I'm seeing this as one of those wax on, wax off, grasshopper moments. You know what I mean? Remember that one? Hmm? Ring a bell? Yeah, but Wyatt, you're not thinking long range. The next time I have to dig up a section that'll normally take me two hours, I'd be doing it in one. Tell me that's not being smart. <laughs> really? I just can't believe you're not seeing this. Alright, like I said, I appreciate your creativity and all, but I'm going to need you to hop up on that truck and grab a pick and shovel, because we got three more jobs to get to today. Come on, buddy. Let's go!
one of the things that continues to freak me out, other than the obvious phase shift, is how close proximity I am to the real world. I mean, who knew that the 24-hour groceries hours of operation extended to an alternate dimension? This pair, this Korean pair, is this pair actually from Korea? Is that local papaya? Local? What's happening in Earth One right now? Is there someone standing here picking out groceries, occupying the same space as me? Is it me? <laughs> Is it me too? I guess it's self-checkout. Look at you, Smith. All dressed up with nowhere to go. <sighs> Let's see. North Shore. Done. Care home. Done. Waimanalo. Done. Done. Dun, dun. What about that job we did for Big John? I mean, a kid. Yeah, I could, I could check on that. Yeah. Big John Carter. He a cool guy. He liked my music. Hey, I was just finishing up. I didn't know if I was going to see you. Well, how's it looking over there? Better than before. <laughs> well, let me know what I owe you. I'll cut you a check. Yeah, yeah, we can catch up next time, but I got this new rig I wanted to show you. What? Hold up, hold up. I'm checking out. What do you got for me? What? What is this thing? Wow. Is that a, is that a cigar box? Yup. It's called a diddly bow. But I made it so you can use it as a walking stick, too. Oh, nice. Just like Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is so cool. Really cool, huh? Wow. When I retired, I told myself I was going to do all kind of cool stuff like this. But, you know, I'm just so busy doing all this <coughs> random stuff. I don't, I don't even have enough time in the day. Shoot, man, when I retire, I ain't gonna do nothing. No, 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 no. We still need you here. Uh, don't worry about it. I, you got me for another few good years. Well, good. Hey, that reminds me. I was gonna ask you, I, I could do it myself, but you know, my old lady got my schedule so booked up. Um, my cousin has this place in Pro City, and it needs an overhaul. A lot of um, California grass, pickaxing, just, it's a pain in the ass. Kind of a two-man job, but I could help you with it. I got you covered, man. I got this young buck been working for me a couple days a week. He's all right. As long as he keeps his phone in the truck, you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be great. Just let me know what I owe you. Yeah, copy that. Uh, send me the contact info and I'll get right on it. Hey, here, check this out. What is this? It's a <laughs> mic I made for my harmonica out of a coconut. Wow. You're kidding me. Sucking guy.
trough? Damn. You thirsty girl. Why, Johnny Ringo, you look like someone just walked over your grave. I don't. I didn't have a better explanation. Out on the rocky point, with Arthur in the sky, I thought it was a bad dream. But now, I'm sure, I'm sure that that guy is a fucking asshole.
No, Wyatt. Look, I don't have much time. I'm going to try to get you out of this. I'll be in touch. Till then, hang in there. What have we here?
Alright. Let's see where we go. Hi, Wyatt. Arthur's dead. I laced his Danish with some cyanide. He wasn't a well man, Wyatt. Not the man that I fell in love with 30 years ago. Where the Ogottens dropped us on our way to Palm Springs for a honeymoon. He was the nicest man you could have ever met. He'll got things from another solar system. I knew it. Aliens. Wait a minute. Hold up, lady. I am sick of this shit. Are you telling me that I have been exiled to the land of infinite boredom because your husband got probed by some alien orangutans? And don't think that I don't know you had something to do with it. I know you dosed those cookies and that's not cool, man. You don't have to know all the particulars, Wyatt. The Ogatans held from Ogata. I'm going to use his time machine. Time and I'm going to go back to the day. When the and hell instead did he of get that time drive machine? to Palm Springs, I'm going to insist on that Mexican cruise. What are you talking about? The last about? time we'll be speaking. Wait. I wish you well. What? Bye, Wait. Wyatt. Wait. Can I help you? Hi, is Alice here? Alice? Sorry, there's no Alice here. Arthur and Alice Plank, they don't live here? No, just me and my husband, Gerald. He's still at work, though. I'm Amy Sanders. Uh, Wyatt. Smith. Say, you live next door, right? Sorry, I've been meaning to come over and introduce myself, but... It's been like, what, only two years? You gotta give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, who are you asking for? Arthur and Alice Plank. You, you know what? Forget about it. Never mind. But nice to meet you, though. Oh, same here. Nice to meet you. Hey, wait, wait. Are you the one who plays that weird music? Yeah, I know. I'll. Be careful to keep it down. No, no, I'm just, I'm just asking because we really like it. Really? Oh yeah, feel free to play it anytime. What kind of instrument is it exactly though? Jerry and I can't seem to figure it out. Well, I've got a whole one-man band of DIY instruments, but the first one I built is a three-string thing called the Smithar. Smithar? Yeah, not like a guitar or a sitar, but more like a... Oh, because your last name is Smith, right? Okay, yeah, I get it. Hey, we'd love to see it one day. Well, if you're not too busy, maybe y'all could come over for dinner and I'll do a little demo. Sounds good. Well, Jerry is working late tonight, but we're both off tomorrow. 
tomorrow's fine. Like six? Six it is. And we'll bring the wine and my special spinach dip. Cabernet sound good? Great. All right. Well, see you tomorrow. I gotta admit, there's a lot of problems in the real world. A lot of messed up people, traffic, taxes, sickness. It's enough to make you want to bury your head in the sand. But when you've been in seclusion for as long as I have, all that stuff just seems so petty. I don't know what else to say other than stay safe. Hug the ones you love like there's no tomorrow. And be nice to everybody, even the ones you're at odds with, because you never know. They might just be some wingnut scientist with a bug up their butt because they got abducted by aliens. Kill them with kindness. All right, we're rolling. Well, you go take care of that, but later on tonight, come over and we can watch the thing on TV. The thing? Are you talking the Kurt Russell original or the sequel? No, no, there was no sequel. That was actually the prequel. This is um, everything that happens before the Kurt Russell version. No, no, no. No. Let's see. That was a prequel. It takes place before what happens in the Kurt Russell version. Cut it, cut it. We're just gonna keep rolling. Keep, keep rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. That movie was actually a prequel. It takes before the prequel. You can read it. Do you want me to hold it right here? Well. <laughs> <laughs>